Today we're going to be installing a Kurt custom wiring harness for a Audi Q5 and SQ5 with the four-way flat output for trailer wiring. So, unbox it real quick for you guys. Sorry, this mess. This desk is a mess, but um, unboxed it. Here is the harness. Here is a bunch of zip ties, a butt connector, fuse, and some eyelets. And then it looks like some instructions. So it says moderate difficulty. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting into it and I'll show you guys exactly how to do it. So step one, we are here in the trunk. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this panel right here like so. And this panel right here like so. And if you look right here, these are the connectors that we are going to be plugging into. So now we're gonna open this panel right here. There are two torques that we're gonna take out. And then we're gonna pull this whole panel down. Okay, so we got the panel down. Um, like I said, there are two torque screws in this cover right here, right there and right there. If I didn't mention they are T25. Also, there is one right there and one right there on the housings that I first popped off. You have to take those four out. And then I just kind of pried slightly on here with my hand. The whole thing popped down rather easy. In fact, it almost hit me in the head. It just popped right off really gently once I had the bolts out. So once I did that, I had to get the plug for the light in the lift gate and the electric lift gate button I'd unplug. So I got those unplugged. Now we are going to route the wiring through here. Okay, so to get this panel down, it's a lot more difficult, or at least it was in my case. Um, pull this panel kind of towards you. And then there is a clip right here, which this one stayed in the trunk for some reason. And then there's a clip right here. You can see the wiring harness. Um, I pop this cover off right here. If you just pry slightly outwards off this way, it'll pop down. You can pull that out and you can see where the harness goes through. And then we are going to pry this weather stripping back and we're gonna route it down this direction into this section right here is where we're gonna put it. So the green connector or the green wire, you're going to put on the passenger side and plug it in to the harness just like that. It plugs in line. I went ahead and used electrical tape in a bunch of places to just make it follow the OEM wiring harness kind of. Routed it through here, around here, and then make sure it goes right down through here behind this panel. And then behind this panel pretty much just goes straight into this compartment right here. So that's the passenger side is green and the driver's side is going to be the brown and yellow so now we're just going to fish this one up through and tape it up and we'll go from there and just like the green one i got the brown and yellow one fished up back behind this panel going into here i just put two zip ties also right there and then up into there and that is all i have to do for there now we're gonna go ahead and put this trunk panel back on and button this all up, up here at least. Panel is all back up and in all routed through and you can't even tell that any aftermarket wiring is put through there. So now that we have all the wires in the tailgate run, the only thing we need left is a power source for this and a ground source. They gave me a self tapper, which I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this insulation out right here and sand this down a little bit and self tap it into there for the ground location. The power wire, I'm debating, instead of running it all the way up to the battery, which they do not give you much wire at all, I may run into the rear cigarette lighter. So personally, what I went ahead and did is used 
my own slightly larger screw than what the self tapper was i drilled a small hole into the trunk section right here this panel and just ran that right there uh, i'm gonna go ahead and use a multimeter now just to make sure that it has good continuity with the chassis of the car and if it does it is good and the last wire that needs ran is this one up to the battery is what they say what i'm gonna go ahead and do is i checked this white wire over here where this power outlet is is 12 volts with it on um that should work good enough instead of running us all the way up to the battery which is just a big pain in the butt and they don't give me enough wire anyway i'm gonna run it through here along the bottom and up into here like i said to that white wire and that should be the last step and put everything back together so i placed it into the white wire there like i said um coming down here it wasn't long enough so i had to find a wire i cut a little connector off there just butt it, butt connector this together not the biggest fan of that checked with the key on have power at the fuse and then i went ahead and stuck the controller right up here with the double side tape provided with it put this foam back in and now i'm gonna go ahead and button it all up and that is how you install it um here's the connector itself so you can just hang it out of the hatch whenever you're ready to plug it in and on the nice side or the bright side of everything you can tuck it down in this little pocket that opens up easily and that connector is not exposed to the elements we're not using it so it should not rust like a lot of them do and uh just like that it's all back together one noteworthy thing to mention is whenever i was testing it i drove myself crazy for a second if the trunk isn't closed none of the lights work so the trunk has to be closed if you want to test it or if you're having issues just know that if the trunk's not closed nothing works back there so like I said, I went ahead and tested it. It all worked fine. And there you go. That is how you install trailer wiring on a Audi Q5, Audi SQ5. Super simple, straightforward. Um, I think it was as easy as it could have been. The only thing I did not like about that was the fact that the power wire, they didn't give me a wire to run to the front. So like I said, I ran to the back um, cigarette auxiliary plug back there, which should be more than enough amperage to run it. And yeah, there you go. Go ahead, like, subscribe if you made it to the end of the video. Thank you. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll go ahead and answer them. But uh, that's how you do it. Until next time, see ya.